Okay, bitches. Um, I have a interesting thing. All right. So, I did this to one of my pistons because I'm a boss and I like to break basically free shit. That would have worked really well. I dropped it out of my block because it's a lot of fun. So, I went on to eBay and I sourced myself a used piston. And I was like, all right, 20, 30 bucks ship, you know, whatever. Slap it in, clean it up like this beautiful beast, and roll. Well, I'm like, well, first off, it didn't look like the one in the pictures. And I was like, what the hell? And then I look and I saw the E7 tag, which means that it's an 80s. Uh, I believe that means it's like an 87 plus um, E7. So this is a 302 forged piston and rod. Um Interesting enough, the rod hasn't changed since like 67 from what I've been told or what I've been read reading. So the rod has been forged since then. But people always wonder, why should I go through a 351, even if it's a stock build or put a little bit of nitrous on it or whatnots? Um, the reason that you should do that is, um, first off, let's take a look at, I mean, this is a cast piston, so obviously material differences, but... Um, you have, look at the ring land on this, and then look at the ring land on that. So your ring land is much beefier. Um, it's bigger, which I know piss material, whatever, people can bitch, F you. Now the biggest thing with these is these have something called football rods, and people always wonder what the hell that means, and basically it's just the, um, the top of the uh, rod bolt. And then when you start looking at everything else, you can see that everything is just absolutely massive compared to anything on a 302. There's your rod bolt differences. Um, you can even see that there's a larger step also to seat the, ma the cap a little bit harder. Um, and there's just a ton more beef everywhere. So you have a step down for your threads and then a step up where your cap actually has a load. And then you have a lot bigger top cap also with a ton more material. Everything's bigger. Um, your bearing, I think your bearing itself is actually bigger. The rod is about the same size that way. Um, probably about the same, I'd say it would probably be the same damn thing that way too. But, um, but yeah, it's about, about the same that way, but they're a taller rod, so they're a longer rod, which gives you usually people like their torque ratios with longer rods. So that's that. This piston and everything, I believe, is from its original Fomico. Um, I think it's a D. It's a D piston. D piston rod. Whatever the hell. But yeah, so that'll be a, I think that's like a 77. Um, the block, I believe, is a 77, so the piston's probably 77. And they're both floating wrist pins uh, pressed onto the rod. So, yeah, just kind of a neat little comparison. The biggest thing was the rod bolts for me. I thought that was cool. Um, just how much bigger they were and how much more surface area you have between your cap, um, just contact between the cap and the, and the rod itself. So if anybody wants two pistons and rods for a 302, um, let me know. I have some. That are in okay shape. They could be a little better, but I cleaned them up and they seem like they're decent. So that's my WTF for today.